Hey, what is going on guys? Rudolinel here coming back at you with some more Python code and today we are still checking out the URL lib module. Now, in the last video we were taking a look at the quotes function and uh, those were in practice pretty easy and like good to understand but then we kind of expanded it and tried to make it our own and I did a really bad job of it and became this like really really lengthy tutorials and it was just a whole bad thing and I, I want to apologize for it and make it a little, make this video at least a a little bit easier and a lot more simplified. So we're going to go with something that's not like a whole another idea or function that we can express ourselves and like, and like rebuild and like reverse engineer. This time I'm just going to show you another like accessible thing that you can use with URL lib. And we're going to get into proxies. Now I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this tutorial. I just kind of want to show you the syntax and be done with it because uh, I, I guess I just I'm not a whole big proxy guy. Like, if I were ever to use a proxy, it would just be like an SSH tunnel, and I, I wouldn't bother setting up this sort of thing. But I, I want to show you how it can be done with your URL lib in Python, and I'll leave it to you to just kind of, like, do your own thing from there. So, okay, uh, enough blabbing. Let's get to writing some code. I'm gonna go ahead and import URL lib. Okay, now... The proxy that we're going to set up, we need to be able to go online and, and find an actual proxy that we can use. So I've got Google ready up here, and uh, if we just kind of like look at proxies, we just find it. Um, this one right here, I've been looking at this, and because this has like a list of all the things that we can use here, and I looked for United States because I mean that's where I am. Okay, and there's one right here. So there's uh, the address, there's the IP address, and we have a, a port number right there that we can use. So that's what we need. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And in URL lib, the way that it keeps track of your uh, your proxy information is in a dictionary. So if I just created a variable, I'll call mine proxy. Now remember, dictionaries have this like curly braces or curly brackets. I don't really know what you want to call them. That's, that's what denotes uh, a dictionary. So a string here. The first one, I think the key is going to represent the type of protocol it is. I mean, I I'm thinking. It's HTTP. And we're just going to go with that. And then remember, the colon will represent the call, uh, the value that will follow. So here's the address. And remember, we want this to be accessible. So it needs to have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in front of it. And then we need to supply the port, which I'm sure you can remember was 3128. So if we do a colon, represent 3128, that's going to be our port. Okay, so now the proxy has been created. And we can use our URL open function to actually access a web page. Now, let's do this. URL lib dot URL open. And you can see when the parameters here, we have URL, which is mandatory, and we have proxies. And that argument is where we're going to su supply this proxy variable that we just set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open um, what is my IP.com. And we're going to supply proxies, and that's going to equal our proxy variable that we just uh, sort of declared and defined here. Now, if we take a look at this, data is actually another optional parameter, and that's why we're actually supplying proxies with this variable. It's like we're explicitly telling Python and the URL lib module to use this variable and this parameter instead. Because if we did it with, without this, it would think that this proxy variable would take the place of data. But no, that's not what we want. So we have to explicitly tell it to use proxies, and proxies is going to equal proxy. Okay, now I'll hit enter. It'll uh, load that up, and actually I want that to be an object, so I can just sort of call it F for whatever the heck you think F should mean at this current moment in your life. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say contents is going to equal F.read, so we can get the entire page. And I mean, here's contents, it's a big mess, and it's HTML, so I want to be able to open that up and look at it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, create a file. I'll just open up um, document.html. We're going to write to that, and then we'll just go ahead and write uh, contents. I'll hit enter. That works out okay. Now, if I were to open up uh, my all the stuff here, we can get into where is it? Document.html. Now I can scroll down here and. Okay, you can see we have a proxy, proxy detected, and there's the same exact address that we were just using for um, the proxy that we set up with URL lib. 
So going all the way back to the top here, you can see that's what we just passed in, and that's the proxy that the internet was able to find and we were able to use. So, okay, <laughs> there it is. We're done. That's that's all that I'm going to show you. <laughs> you can do whatever you'd like with it, but here it is. It's it's a possible thing, and now you know how to do it. It's just a variable set up as a dictionary format, and you pass that into your opening functions when you're using URL lib. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a little bit easier compared to what we've been doing, but I, I want to kind of keep you guys on your toes. So thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.